Welcome back, Flat Top Flavors, episode number two. Um, before we get into the video, uh, today we're doing something a lot more simple than last week's uh, Kung Pao Chicken Recipe. If you haven't checked it out, please go check it out. Uh, but first thing, I want to thank everyone that viewed, liked, subscribed, commented on the last video. Um, I appreciate all the support. I got a lot of feedback. Um, the big debate, chopping or uh, not chopping, we're going to prep and have everything ready to go before we actually get into the video. Um, that way we can shorten up a little bit, 18 minutes. Last week I know some people were like, man, I sat there and watched your whole video. Thank you for those of you who did. I'm gonna try and cut down to maybe eight to 10 minutes. That way it's a little bit more uh, realistic for everybody to be able to sit, watch, and follow the recipes. I'm also gonna try and put in the recipe below in the description box. That way you can kind of follow along um, with things that need the exact measurements um, and things like that. So for today, we are going to go to Mexico and we're gonna do some uh, chicken street tacos, uh, Chipotle chicken street tacos. Um, so this one should be a little bit more, you know, easy for people to follow. It's gonna be really fast, really simple. The video might only be five or six minutes because um, really you gotta cook the chicken and you just put it together. So it's gonna be super fast, super easy. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get into the marinade for the chicken thighs right now. All right, we will call this three ingredient chicken marinade. Uh, first ingredient, actually this doesn't count as ingredient, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> For, uh, salt and pepper also doesn't count as ingredients, although we're not going to use that. We have garlic, we have limes, and we have, this is the secret, chipotle peppers. We're actually not going to use the chipotle, we're just going to use the adobo sauce. So first you're just cracking some garlic. Again, if you don't have one of these garlic presses, it makes life so much easier. All right, we'll go ahead and throw some olive oil in here. Olive oil is gonna be for two reasons. One, it's gonna help thin out the adobo sauce, which is very smoky, very bold. Um, and also it's gonna put some oil, olive oil on the chicken, so when we put it in the pan, um, we don't have to put olive oil in the actual pan. We're gonna do the juice of two limes. This is also gonna help thin up the chipotle flavor and also give it a bright citrusy tone. And a secret with limes, these ones are actually really juicy. Roll them out on the counter before um, I, I actually did roll these out. It, uh, it just makes it so there's a ton more juice that comes out. And then we'll do the last lime here. And then we'll just throw in the adobo sauce. If you want to use the chipotles, you can. You can chop them up or just throw them in whole. Doesn't really matter. I just prefer to use the sauce. And if a, a chipotle pepper falls in, it's fine. Doesn't matter. They all taste the same. Uh, you put a chipotle pepper in, it's going to be a little bit spicier, but if you like the spiciness, then it'll be perfect for you. And I'll do a touch more olive oil. I just want to thin out the adobo sauce so it's not super thick. And that's it. Stir it up. We're going to put our chicken in it, and then we'll let it set, marinate for at least an hour. You can do two, three, four hours. It doesn't matter, but um, we're only going to do an hour because we want to get cooking so we can eat. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be real dark. We're gonna throw our chicken thighs, boneless, skinless, in here, whole. We're actually gonna cook them whole. You could cut them up, cube it, and cook it like that if you wanted to. But for this one, we're gonna cook it whole and then chop it after it's cooked. So we'll put this in the fridge about an hour, and then we'll be back to, to show you the cooking. All right, so we got this back from marinating. It's been in there about an hour. Beautiful red color. You can smell the adobo sauce and the chipotles. All we're gonna do is get this in a pan. Today we're using cast iron. You can use whatever skillet you want. It doesn't have to be cast iron, but I just got it and I'm excited, so I'm gonna use it. Make sure you don't want any of the actual chipotle peppers being on there. Just gonna lay them in. Try and fit as many as you can in the pan, and if you need to do a second round, you can. And you put one more little guy on the outside. And now we're gonna let these cook. These will go for maybe four or five minutes each side, and then as soon as they're done, we'll go ahead and we'll pull them out. Um, and like I said, this recipe is super simple, super easy, super fast because once this is done cooking, all we're gonna do is chop it and we're gonna build the tacos. All right, come check this out. This is what you want. Especially in this kind of pan, if you're out on the grill, wherever you are, these lines right here, 
those griddle marks, that's all flavor. That's going to give you a little texture. Um, it's going to give you, you know, that kind of little crunch, but then also flavor. And if you see on the bottom, that browning, that's all just added flavor right there. You want that. So, again, you don't need to move it a million times. Let it sit there. Let it cook. Uh, let's see how these guys are doing. See, that, that, that's a good news. This is all good things happening. You want all of this, and you want your chicken coloring like this. You don't want it to stay that pale, uh, off-white cream color, because it's going to be slimy, and it's going to be, it's not going to be good, especially for a chicken taco recipe. You want that color, because even if a little bit is burnt, you're only going to get a little bite in each taco. It's going to be chopped up. All right, so here, I got the secret side. This is the secret weapon. Canned beans, canned refried beans. And it'll also serve our tacos with some wok. We made this homemade, but you guys didn't want to see any, any prep. So we did that beforehand. That way we could get down to the nitty gritty for you. All right. That's what you want. That's how we know our chicken is done. Just did a final check. Look at that. This nice, brown, crusty, delicious. So we're going to take this out. You do, like most meat, want to let it rest for a few minutes. These aren't huge pieces. Um, and you don't need the chicken to be super juicy in the taco because you can put in sour cream or salsa, whatever you want. But you still want it to retain something. So we'll let this out. These little brown bits are going to be super good. We'll let it sit here again a couple minutes. We'll chop it up. Um, come over here. We'll start heating up some tortillas. And we're going to do double corn because I hear that's that's authentic. So we'll turn this up, got it uh, at pretty low heat. You don't want it to cook the tortillas. They're already cooked, but you do want to let them heat up, uh, get nice and flexible. That way we can build the tacos. All right, we let the meat rest for a few minutes. Now we're going to chop it up. You can just go across it long ways. And then kind of turn it around. And, and this part is definitely not an exact science because we're just going to chop it up and we're going to throw it into these tacos. So you just want to get it little bite-sized pieces. doesn't have to be perfect. Some can be bigger than others. doesn't really matter. We have our tortillas heating up over there. So as soon as this is all chopped up, we'll go ahead and build them. we got our toppings here to the side. And hopefully these will turn out great. It's build time. So again, we're going to double corn. Oh, hot. And again, build these the way you want to eat them. I like mine with just onion, cilantro, and chicken. Easy, done. If you like it with salsa, put salsa. If you like it with wok, put wok. If you like lime, sour cream, build it the way you want it. So for these, we'll build a couple different styles just so you can see. And again, there's no right or wrong. It's just how you like it. That's all we care about in the kitchen. It's good, not right or wrong. We'll do onions on all of them. Do a little cilantro. And then on a couple of them, maybe we'll mix in some, put some sauce on that guy. Maybe we'll do some sour cream on this guy. And then on this guy, we'll do a little bit of wok. There you go. Easy Chipotle street tacos for the taste test. Anyone want to join? Anyone? Anyone joining? All right. Okay. Actually, we have three. Al, get over here. <laughs> Come on. You get the sour cream one, Al, because you like sour cream. You want the salsa or the wok one? Uh, I'll do the wok one. Yeah, you've been eating it all night. All right. <laughs> all right, you guys ready? Yeah. Should we cheers? Cheers. <laughs> I do like the salsa. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I mine. But I might even make some with the sour cream and the guac as well because mm -hmm. it, it looks and smells good. Well, I know it's good. I made it. <laughs> all right, that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, cook this recipe. It doesn't have to be tonight. It doesn't have to be this week. But this month sometime, make some easy Chipotle chicken tacos at home. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next Thursday.